Hello and welcome. This video will show you how to scan the EDSIM51 keypad and the key that is pressed is then displayed on the 7 segment display. So let's look at the construction of the keypad. So this is the uh, schematic diagram of the EDSIM51 keypad interface and I would like to uh, focus on the construction of the keypad. Generally, a 3x3 three three, uh, keypad is a uh, array or matrix of push button switch shown here. And uh, these are the connections uh, from the uh, keypad to port 0 of the uh, AT51. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at how we can scan for a key press. Now, um, I would uh, number the keys on the keypad uh, according to this uh, diagram here. This is as per EDSIM51 uh, keypad. And this would be row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, and this would be column 0, column 1, and column 2. Now this is the schematic of the uh, keypad, and uh, we check this one out here. So row 0 is connected to port 0, bit 0, or P0.0, so that is row 0. Row 1 is connected to P0.1 and row 2 is connected to P0.2 and row 3 is connected to P0.3 and P0.4 is connected to column 0. Column 1 is connected to P0.5 and column 2 is connected to P0.6. Uh, notice that P0.7 is not used and by default all the pins are set to logic 1. So uh, we will focus on row 3. Uh, for this part of the video uh, we will talk about row 2, row 1 and row 0 later on. So we need to set, uh, or rather we need to scan row 3 and then we will then scan uh, column 0, column 1 and column 2. We do all that to check if any of these three keys has been pressed. Now to scan row 3, we need to use or we can use uh, CLR that is clear P0.3 uh, this was set P0.3 to a logic 0 now assume that we have pressed uh, key number 3 and notice that now we have a complete circuit here and that would be connected to P0.4 and that will set P0.4 to a 0 and we can use uh, jump not bit set to test for a 0 if it's a 0 at uh, P0.4 then it will call this subroutine to display the key in this case is 3 onto the 7 segment so let's take a look at the other two keys Let's assume this time uh, uh, key number 2 is pressed and uh, we get a connection here to P0.5 so that will now set P0.5 to a 0 again we can use the GNB instruction to test for this bit if it's set to a 0 then uh, we will go to this subroutine to display number 2 onto the 7 segment. 
Now we keep P0.3 at 0. And this time we press uh, key number 1. And that will make the connection. It will then connect to P0.6. So, and then again, we use JNB P0.6 this time to check for uh, 0. If it's a 0, then call this subroutine to display a 1 onto the 7 segment. Now, here's the, uh, the code uh, for the uh, discussion that we have made. So, this portion of the code, that this will scan for row 3. All right, so row three. That uh, for that you used CLR P zero dot three as discussed earlier. So that that will set this to a zero. Then we scan. We call this uh, subroutine here, which is this one here. That will scan. This one will scan column zero. And this one will scan column one, and this one here will scan. Okay, so let's assume that uh, P, oh, sorry, key number three is pressed. Then when we scan this uh, column zero, uh, this would be a, a zero sent to P0.4. So if that's the case, it would then call this subroutine, which is Zero key code zero three. It will then set the uh, F zero general flag to a one. Uh, this will then indicate that the key has been found. Then it will get hold of the code for uh, three, send it to R seven, and from R seven we uh, push it out to P one, which is the seven segment display. So you'll get a one display on the seventh segment. If the other keys have been pressed, uh, for example, two and the one, then the appropriate subroutine will be called and this uh, would be displayed onto the uh, seventh segment. Uh, A4 hexa would be for number two. And if this is selected, if uh, number one is key press one, if key one is pressed, then this will be executed and uh, this code will be sent to the seven segment. Okay, so we're back in the EDSIM uh, 51. Uh, I've uploaded the code here that we have discussed earlier. So uh, let me assemble it first. And I'm going to single step through it. Uh, so the first thing is to set P0.3 because we want, we're interested in these three keys here. So we set that to zero, scan row three. Okay, so we've done that. So the next thing, it will scan the columns. So we will call this subroutine ID code zero. Yep, it's gone in there. So we will now scan the, uh, the three columns. So we'll start with zero, uh, yeah. And let's assume, uh, let's set this to one. Let's press one, okay. Then we step through it. We will scan column uh, one, which is P0.5. Okay, now we're gonna scan column two which is p0.6 and notice we already press one which is uh, in column two so it should capture it yep so it's identified it's going to identify the uh, the code now we set the f0 flag which is here so watch it yep so the F0 flag is set because one of the key is being pressed. Now it will load the code for a decimal one to R into R7. Yeah, so R7 has now F9. And that would dis then the next 
uh, instruction that would display it on the seven segment display which is this one here yep and we get a one all right and it goes back and it says it's done and uh, this code only run once uh, once it's identified the key it, it will stop Okay, so let's look at uh, scanning all rows and all columns to check for the uh, key press. If any key is pressed, we would display it uh, onto the seven segment. Right, so we are start scanning uh, rows from row three. And then we proceed to scan column zero. Column 1, column 2, and we do all that to check for these keys here. And if none of these keys are pressed, we move on to call, uh, sorry, row 2. And then from row 2, we start, we start scanning uh, column 0, column 1, column 2. And if none of these keys are pressed, we move on to uh, row one, and then column zero, column one, and column two. And if no keys are pressed, we move on to row zero, column zero, column one, and column two now this uh, here is the uh, the code for scanning all the rows so this portion will scan row three this will scan row two this will scan row one and this will scan row zero and let's assume that whilst we are scanning row two uh, a key is being pressed and this will be detected by the uh, scan column subroutine and assume that this key key 6 is pressed which uh, is taken care by this uh, code here which the which is a JNB p0.4 if that is pressed this will be zero and this will be called which is this portion here that was set uh, this uh, F0 flag to one to indicate a key is being pressed and the 82H hexa code is loaded into uh, R7 and then from R7 is copied out into P1 uh, which is the seven segment and the number six will be display Okay, so uh, we're back into the uh, ED sim 51 and uh, I've uploaded the code that we have been talking about uh, This time I'm going to run it uh, straight uh, Before I do that, let me select one of the keys. Let's see here uh, Let's okay. Let's press seven and we run it and watch out for the uh, seven segment display here uh, if you're running this uh, make sure you put it down the update frequency to 100 so let me run it yep uh, we get a seven um, because we press a seven so let's do it again and let's choose another key uh, and we reset it um, ooh, uh, Let's do a six and run it. Yeah, and we got a six. Let's pause it, then reset. And um, I just want to show you this one here, the asterisk. Uh, okay, we press it and we run it. And it is a dash. Now that's because I can't get the code to get this thing to display a asterisk. It is quite 
difficult or near impossible because of the seven segment. And similarly, uh, the hash too is is it will be displayed as a hash. Okay, so let's just do one more. Reset it, and uh, this time we'll choose a one. Okay, so why not? Let's do one and run it. Yep, let me get a one. Okay, so that's all for the demonstration. Okay, before I end this uh, video, um, I'd like to acknowledge um, that the uh, code that I have used in this video, I've based it uh, on the, the code that is given in the EDSIM51 website. Uh, there's some example code programs rather. Uh, if you follow this link, you'll find the uh, example code for the keypad. And uh, I just like to fully acknowledge that the code that I've used is based on the uh, example given in EDSIM website. And I made some changes to it so that it can display the uh, key press on the seventh segment. And um, the code that I've used in this video can be found in the link uh, given below this video. And uh, that's it for this video. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.